she in her bag. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? Finding Wolves Girls High School, Ohio High School Girls Playoff Edition. We are in the middle of nowhere. Chad and I just drove 50 minutes in the dark with no highway lights, nothing, and we listen to country music just so we can feel the, the true essence of coming here. It is Medina. <laughs> taking on Hoven. Yeah! I, I blanked out for a minute because the environment. It is crazy in here tonight. Olivia, I heard that she's been on the tear since they lost to Shawnville. It's gonna be a good one tonight. We're gonna see how this is. Chad, Danny, Coach Levin, Prime Levin, Spider Wolf. Let's get to it. <laughs> Damn. Oh, shit. Watch your back. Oh, she in her bag. <laughs> I told you Olivia in that bag. That's a strong move. Mary, but the parents from Hoven make make you not want to like like Hoven right now. Hell of a block. The pass, the touchdown pass for the catch with no dribble, one, two, bump, up. They, Madonna in tough. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Madonna is hooping right now. Oh. They hooping. So 27 to 10 at halftime. This is a whole new Madonna team. And Hoban is ranked number one around the Northeast Ohio area. So this score right now, it's surprising, but it's not surprising. Like we said, the rankings are all jacked up. They use a new computer system that did some crazy, goofy stuff. We need, to, like the whole media need to vote on who is ranked what next year for this playoff season. But anyway, Medina looks like a brand new team since Strongsville beat them for the conference championship. And we seen, we seen that game and how, how back and forth it was and how aggressive Olivia like is and was during that game. But like tonight, when certain players get that killer like look in their eyes, it's just nothing that you could do. Medina's in the locker room and I guarantee they are getting the pep talk like they're down like 27 to 10 right now. They are getting the pep talk like they down 17 points. They want this title. They felt like this was their year to win conference. They didn't get conference, so they're going to avenge conference uh, by not winning conference by getting the district championship tonight. And the way they're looking right now, they could really do some damage to a lot of teams. I mean, they're a 17-point lead on, on the number one team around the area who's been like going through and beating everybody by 15, 20 points. It's super impressive. I don't know if Hoban underestimated them or what, but Medina is playing physical tonight. That defense is a killer. If they want to stop Medina, they're going to have to stop the ball moving. That's one of the best things about them. They have a superstar in Olivia, but they move the ball so well. I mean, they've been taking her out the game to give her some breathers. Like, during the Seanville game, they didn't do that. Right now, they're doing that, and it's helping them. The other five people that get on the court are hooping. It's crazy right now. Let's see how this second half goes. The Hoban parents said during the second half, they bought the ball out, so I got to see. Because I think Medina's taking this championship. Oh, wow, that's a 
That's elite. Oh. Wow. You seen that? You didn't see that? She ran into the stand and she just threw her off of her. Record this. I for sure thought y'all saw that. Man, it was, she shoved, it looked like Ray Lewis hit, really? hit like a baby deer. It was crazy. Yeah. yeah, I was I was looking to see if he was saying stuff. He was. <laughs> Bro, she is she is she a legend. She a legend already. Just crazy. Thank <laughs> you. 